Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time from the Proc Jam Summer. The Proc Jam is a procedurally generated game jam. Normally, they have a yearly game jam in, like, October, November time. But as um, that wasn't always the best time for everyone, they decided to do a summer edition of their jam. This was a low-key version of their main jam uh, that ran alongside the Kickstarter that was funded for their main jam. Uh, there were some optional themes that you could pick. There were about 12 of them, and you could get a randomizer to get one of those themes to help inspire you. You could make anything that makes something. This could be games, generative software, music, art, recipes, wallpapers, literally anything. And I'm checking out each and every one of the creations. About 10 per video. Links to the individual entries will be in the description, so you can check them out further. As always, all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out on Twitter or various other social media platforms as well as support me on Patreon if you enjoy this sort of work. That really helps me continue to do this. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites at Big Boss Battle. Next. We're playing Sanctuary at Sea. So these are procedurally generated seaside settlements that you can then explore. They look beautiful, just the art style is wonderful. I want to look out at the ocean, though. It's a nice day-night cycle as well. Look at the water. Our settlement. Oh, it all lights up and everything. Can we go in? No, I don't think we can. Oh, we can. How beautiful. And then we can also, like, reset it. So this is a whole new settlement. Wow, look at the color of that house. I want to live in this one. I kind of want to decorate the inside of them. So beautiful. Such a beautiful game. Game. Such a beautiful thing. Ah. Next. We're checking out Proc Jam trees. So we can kind of place trees. Rotate the last tree. Hmm. I mean, four to six to rotate. Ooh. So we can kind of have them swaying. I want to choose a different tree type. Let's put tall ones. Thin ones, these bushy ones. I can kind of tilt them. It's a windy day. Just so that they're not all straight up, I suppose. I want to pick random. That seems fun. And you can just build a forest. I like the style of these. They're like sketches almost. You can get quite a big variety. And being able to sort of tilt them. Is quite nice as well. One, two, or three to move. Well, you can also just move it along. I kind of like that there. I like it there. Cool. Next. We're playing World Hard and Cold. These like little blobs are interesting. Ooh. Do we have to escape the room before all the blobs take over? They're quite interesting to watch grow. Some weird, strange plants. Let's go this way. Well, it's quite a neat world. Next. We're checking out the CUSP uh, planet generator. So this is the planet. You can turn it. Okay, speed. Let's just put a new seed. Just a bunch of sevens. Oh, okay. So it's got a huge, like, massive land form and a, a ton of water. Gonna generate some planets, I think. Make the planets spin really fast. Cool, so you can generate some alien planets that are sort of based on our own in the way that they have mountains and land and 
water and it looks quite like a, a human planet. Just I seem to make planets with a lot more. Oh wait, there's a little island. There's a lot less islands, a lot more huge land masts. I like the music as well, it's quite nice. Oh, I've got like a, a big cold air. Cold air? Maybe higher, I don't know. Next. We're playing Procedural Painter. Oh. So he's like moving little dots. Oh, he can change their colors, okay. Or just the amounts they move. Ooh, I like this color scheme. Ooh, that one's even prettier. Gray scale. No, I don't want grade scale. Okay. I like circles. I like how it just erases all of the paint. This is really quite pretty. Look at all these dots. Wow, next. We're playing sand castles. So a giant sand castle and that's the DNA. And we can look around. It's like a moat or like a little volcano start. And we can make a new one if we'd like. Ooh, this one's like a bigger volcano. So yeah, you can zoom in and out. It'd be cool if they added some um, bits around the side that you can then plug into your sandcastle, like flags and shells. See, yep, that's okay. I don't need to save it. That's quite interesting. These sandcastles seem to always have a little dip in the middle, be like a mound with a dip. I quite like the little wave patterns almost on the outside so they're not flat, like on the outside of where the sand castle is, if that makes sense, around the edges. I think this one's actually my favorite. I like how deep it is. Next. You wake up in a new town, is what we're playing. You wake up in a new town. You wonder which town it is this time. You start your day in Josephissi, famous for its mundane passage. Levy, Maya, and Caitlin are in town today. Maybe you should say hi. You can always check out the mundane passage or go back to bed. Levy. Levy seems jumpy. You talk a little. It looks like you and Levy enjoy pastel tones and coffee. That's nice. Maybe you should try talking to other people too. Maya. Maya seems to be doing not so well. You talk a little. It looks like you and Maya enjoy pastel tones. That's nice. Let's go to the mundane passage. The mundane passage seems to be very mundane. Looks like you made two new friends today. Let's go back to bed. You wake up in a new town. You wonder which it is this time. You start your day in Inquilza, famous for its lofty minaret. Brookie, Levy, Elizabeth are in town today. Look, it's Levy. Levy seems moody. You talk a little. Looks like you and Levy enjoy pastel tones and coffee. That's nice. Maybe you should try talking to other people. Let's do Elizabeth. Elizabeth seems to be longing for something. You talk a little. You don't really get along with Elizabeth. You should talk to someone else. Brooke. Brooke seems to be longing for something. You talk a little. It looks like you and Brooke enjoy coffee. That's nice. I think I have two hobbies, passed out and coffee. Maybe you should try talking to other people. Let's just go back to bed. You wake up in a new town and you wonder which it is this time. That's pretty neat. I like that Levy keeps coming up. <laughs> Next. We're playing Find the Treasures. They're shiny, they're chatty. Do we see space? Okay, please wait, that's fine. Looking around. We got it. We got everything we need to do. Just gotta wait for it to load. I think it's done. Maybe? No? Maybe? No? I had the game loaded, it didn't freeze. I hear someone shouting treasure. Kiwi seems to be excited about treasure. Is that bird making that noise in the background? I feel like if I get up high, I'll be able to see more. Oh, it's such a big world. I 
In here there'd be like treasure. But probably echoes. I'm oh, stuck. Where's the treasure? Where are you guys? It sounds a bit louder. Maybe. Does that mean we're going the right way? Who knows? I think this is a pretty silly game. Whoa. Next. We're playing Explorer. Where do you want to go? I don't know. One day, on your trip to Sleven, the gate, oh, sorry, the gate needs a key, okay. Is K for key? Oh yes, All right. Oh, there's like some stuff in here, but I don't know what it was. Is there a key? I don't see a key. Gate needs a key. Okay. What's the M for? Oh, alright, we're gonna have to explore around. M is probably mountain. We were just lucky before with the key being so close to the door. Now if I remember where the key is and where the door is. Well, remember the door is and find the key, I should say. There's the key. We go this way, this way again, I think. Down. Yes. Next. We're playing X, Y, Z, Y, G, Y. Oh, this little creature, and we can kind of explore around. Keep your eye on your fuel meter. So a fuel meter is that like thing around the outside. Oh, hi. I really like this world. It's very minimalistic in the way that it looks, but there's so many like small details. And just the way the outside of that planet is like animated is really nice. I like these other little fish. Oh, we got a thing. What'd that do? What's going on? Okay. That was interesting. We got more fuel though. Okay, so maybe we can put down those like, what are they called anchors to somehow get more fuel? I don't know. Next. 